All right, so the last product that we have is uh, a smart water bottle. And we were, I, I was talking about uh, products that annoy me that make you download an app and have Bluetooth connections. Uh, this one has all of the above. What do you think it does? I'm guessing it keeps track of how much water you're drinking a day, how many times you refill it, and based on the lighting up feature, tells you when you need to drink more. That's probably, what, that's what I'm hoping it is. Uh, so it says, syncs to app, which in my mind, again, is not a good thing because I hate having like two dozen apps for individual products that I have but it does supposedly track water intake. It glows to remind you to drink water. So I'm sure there's like an accelerometer that's built in. You have to move it every once in a while to keep the light off. Uh, and I think that's it. Seems like a pretty simple product. So I will download the app here. All right, while you're downloading that app, I'm gonna unbox this. It's got a nice look to it. Yeah. So maybe this was obvious to everyone else, but this product is hand washing only. You can't run it through the dishwasher. And it's four stars on the app store. Yeah, this was really highly reviewed as well on Amazon. How much was this? $60. Yeah, this $60 is a lot for a water bottle, but if it, you know, if it's effective at reminding me to drink uh, eight cups of water a day or whatever the recommendation is, I would say that's probably worth the money. It's a setup. It's asking for a lot of information like birthday, sex, pregnancy, nursing. So I guess it can customize its recommendations pretty well. Asking for height. And wait. Okay, this is really bad. Ah. <laughs> so unboxing is not easy. Uh, all right. I hope those weren't the instructions. <laughs> we don't know what order they're in now. Uh, I think it's just a bunch of warning labels. Quick start guide. All right, I have downloaded the app, set up my information, height, age, weight, activity level. And no bottle, let's see. I now add the bottle. Hold on, I need to add the battery in. Have you ever used a water bottle that requires a battery to operate? Can't say I have. Me neither. Oh, look at that. It's pretty. Yeah, it's got a good look to it. Dude, I think I might keep this. <laughs> Just based on aesthetics alone. Well, I have the app, so I'll get you all <laughs> of your information. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> have fun with that. I'll text you to drink more water. Uh, okay, let's see. Searching for bottle. Found the bottle. Connecting. So now we need to calibrate the bottle. Oh, we need to calibrate a water bottle? All right, empty your bottle and set it upright on a flat surface. Okay. Next. All right, and then we're gonna fill it and set it upright. I'm just gonna fill it with tap water. It seems like it's not only trying to count how many times you're drinking, it's actually trying to measure the quantity of water you're drinking. That's good. Sometimes I'll top it off if I'm halfway, so. Huh. Okay, let me screw this back on. So after drinking, set the bottle on a flat surface for a few seconds so the sensor can measure the water level. Whenever you refill, you also want to put it on a flat surface. And the last thing is interesting, at least once every day or two, bring the bottle and app near one another to record your water intake. So I guess the bottle itself is able to track for a while and it will update the app when they're close to each other. Which shouldn't matter because, I mean, we have our phones with us at all times anyway. Right. And you can go a day or two without cal yeah. updating as well. So let's see. So this is the, the starting screen. Zero water drunk. Drank. <laughs> drank. 
think I think it's right. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna pour out some water. And then let's see. Poured about 40% of it out. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. So it thinks I just drank seven ounces, which seems to be roughly correct based on how much I poured out. Yeah, it's a 20 ounce water bottle. All right, so we, we don't have exactly know how much is left. If so, I'm gonna fill it to eight ounces. Let's see if it counts it correctly. So it should be at 15 if this right is accurate. It doesn't have to be exactly 15, but it better not be off by more than one ounce. 15. All right. Yeah, spot on. Okay. That's not bad. So you can see the tracker so far. We've hit 16% of our goal, four and a half bottles to go. And then it gives you a streak in terms of how many days you've hit your goal. You can then go to history to look at your view over time by day or month. Obviously we don't have enough history yet. You can compete with friends, it looks like, on this tab. <laughs> and then you can add additional bottles in case you drink out of multiple different smart bottles. All right, so does it, what does it say about the, the reminder light? Because that's a, that's a big deal. Reminders will be shown between these times. So you can tell it not to light up and give you reminders before 7 a.m. or after 10 p.m. is the default. Close. Dude, that's a fancy app. It, it is a pretty impressive app. Um, and you can also sync it to Apple Health, Fitbit, Under Armour. I'm pretty impressed with the app. Like, does it just remind you, like, if you haven't touched a bottle in a while, or, or you, like, if you're behind schedule in your hydration? Yeah, I think it's based on being behind schedule and the time since you have not drank it, but okay, I don't think it's going to give us a reminder anytime soon since we just right we just <laughs> drank 15 ounces of water. <laughs> yeah, how do you like the the construction of it? It feels solid. Um, I like the look. The cap does its job. Nothing leaking out. It looks like there's room to add a clip if you want. Yeah, I, I was going to say that the top feels a little bit flimsy. Like it's, I don't know if it's made out of like the highest quality plastic, but I mean, it seems to do the job. I don't know how long this hinge is going to last though. This doesn't seem too robust, but good thing is I think there's nothing, there's no smart technology in the actual top. So I'm sure you can get a relatively cheap replacement of only the top part. Yeah. So obviously this is not made for outdoor use. Like you, you don't want to take this hiking because there's like it, the whole thing just kind of works based on a sensor system. Right. So this is a water bottle that's specifically, I think, made for people sitting at a desk or basically in home use. I, I don't think this is rugged enough. Um, I don't I, I don't know about this hinge. Like if you if you if you drop it a few times, I think it's gonna break. Um, so it's not too rugged. But I think for what it is, I think it's I, I'm blown away. So the, go to bottle glows. Oh, you can press try it. All okay. right, let's see it. That is high. Yeah. This is medium. And this is low. So we have it on high right now. So I'm, I'm really glad the, the app actually has some useful functionality here and customization options uh, because I, I, I really, really hate products that come with individual apps for that product because I'm up to like more than a dozen at this point with different smart like right. light bulbs and stuff. Uh, but it seems like there actually is a legitimate use case for this app and I'm not just rolling my eyes at needing to use an app to use a water bottle. And the good thing is you don't even need to actually open the app very much here if you don't want to. The bottle lighting up and then the actual reminders on your phone should trigger enough of, oh, I haven't drank water today. That it will at least improve your habit um, even if you don't want to do the tracking on the app. Yeah. I think it's a gem. Uh, the the price tag um, stops me a little bit. What was it like? Sixty bucks. Yep. 
Yeah, so it is a little expensive for a water bottle, but if it serves a purpose of reminding me to drink water, you know, every hour or so, then I think that's good enough. I think that's worth 60 bucks. Yeah, I agree. I definitely going into this thought I was going to be calling it junk, but everything about it has impressed me so far. The bottle design, the app, um, the customization that you can do. Um, I definitely think it would help people remember to drink enough water. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and call it a uh, gem as well. Yeah, so I'm I'm glad we ended up on three gems in a row because we had a little bit of a rough start there. Um, cool. I think we have one last product. Should be a quick one. All right, let's do it.